let us consider the uniformly charged line it's have the length of capital l this is the line it's have the length capital l and you are going to find the electric field intensity of the smaller portion that is the dl okay so the dl considered point it's have the length that is the l distance from the one end of the line okay so it's have another one thing it's have the uniformly charged uniformly charged so it's have the charge density of rho l okay linear charge density rho l coulomb per meter okay so let us consider one point that is the consider p point it's have the r distance from the considered point dl okay and simultaneously so here the same considered point it's have the angle alpha 1 from the one end and alpha 2 is the another end okay so it is have the h as the distance from the considered line it's have the h distance between the considered point to the line so the remaining unknown distance only the only the dl to h so you can find from the this this is the unknown distance so you can put the line uh, length for the x so if it is x minus l that is the known distance of the particular region okay so uh, uh, we all know that is the electric field intensity that is the de we are considering for the smaller portion dl so consider the electric field intensity also the smaller portion so the differential electric field intensity or electric field it should be equal here actually q it will come but here here the linear charge density so rho l into dl divided by 4 pi epsilon into r square that is the differential electric field intensity so you can consider the point x component as well as the y component so the resultant electric field intensity that is the de we written here but we need to obtain the x direction as well as y direction so the dex becomes de sin theta and dy becomes de cos theta okay so we know the de it should be equal to rho l dl divided by 4 pi epsilon r square that you can substitute in the expression of dx so equation becomes like this dx equal to rho l dl divided by 4 pi epsilon into r square into sin theta okay so we can consider the triangle from the line so this actual this triangle yeah this triangle you can consider so it is have the angle theta and it is have the distance that is the h and it is have the another distance that is the r so here the unknown distance we obtained x minus l that we all written here from this triangle you can find the dl as well as r value so while you are making the r the sin theta it should be equal sin theta it should be equal h by r uh, so we can find the r value from the expression similarly the x minus l it should be equal h cot theta right x minus l it should be equal h cot theta so our requirement is only dl so you can make the differentiation so the dl minus dl it should be equal minus h first second square theta into d theta it will come both the side minus you can get cancel then dl it should be equal to h cosine square theta into d theta so the dl value and r value we obtained that both the value you can substitute in the equation 1 okay so the equation 1 becomes like this dx it should be equal to rho l h cosine square theta sin theta into d theta and divided by 4 by epsilon into r you are replacing while you are replacing r the h cosine square theta it will come so you can make the square the h square cosine square it will come you can get cancel so h also getting cancelled remaining term rho l divided by 4 by epsilon into h sin theta into d theta it will come that is the ex that is the dex from that you can obtain ex value so you can make the integration with respect to the limit of alpha 1 to alpha 2 so you can substitute the limit alpha 1 to pi minus alpha 2 because it is the straight line and it is uniformly charged straight line so it's have the angle of alpha 1 and here also that is the angle alpha 2 that is the while you are considering the limit that is the pi minus alpha 2 you have to substitute so you can substitute the limit and you can make the integration with respect to theta so the remaining constant term you can take it outside so the sin theta while you are making the sin theta integration minus cos theta it will come that is the ex it should be equal to l divided by 4 pi epsilon into h so minus cos theta alpha 1 to pi minus alpha 2 so that is the upper limit as well as lower limit you can substitute alpha 1 plus alpha 2 it will come how because the upper limit pi minus alpha 2 so cos pi minus theta minus cos theta likewise 
we can get alpha 2 plus cos alpha 2. Similarly, minus wire limit. So, already one minus is there. So, minus into minus plus it will come the alpha 1 plus alpha 2. So, that is the EX value. The EX it should be equal to rho L divided by 4 pi epsilon H into all cos alpha 1 plus cos alpha 2. Right? Similarly, DY you need to find it out. So, we know that equation DY it should be equal to DE cos theta. So, similarly, D was same, only the cos is so inside of sin theta, you can substitute cos theta. So, while we are making the cos theta, while we are making the integration of cos theta, there will be a sin theta it will come. If the sin theta, you can see here, if the sin theta, similarly you can substitute the limit and can get upper limit minus lower limit. So, sin phi minus theta, that is the sin theta. So, sin alpha, uh, sin alpha 2 minus sin alpha 1 it will come while you are finding EY. Similarly, EY and EX we obtain. Then you can consider the two different cases. If you are considered for bisector of the line, that is the uniformly charged line at the point P, you are founded the EX and EY value. Suppose if you are founded the, if you are considered the bisector of the line, the case 1, the alpha 1 and alpha 2 equal to alpha, alpha 1 and alpha 2 equal to alpha. So, sub, uh, if you are substituted like that, here the alpha minus alpha, sin alpha minus again sin alpha, the value is 0. So, EY it is getting 0 for the case 1, bisector of the line, alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 equal to alpha. So, if you are substituted like that, EY it is getting 0, right. So, the remaining, the, if you are considering x term, the alpha, here also alpha, if it is cos alpha plus cos alpha, what it will come? The Like that. 2 cos alpha it will come. So, it may getting cancel. The remaining value rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon into h cos alpha that is for case 1 bisector of the line. Similarly, in the case 2, if the uniformly charged line is infinite length, here we are considered the finite length capital L. That is why the limit uh, alpha 1 and alpha 2 angle we consider. Suppose this consider line is infinite, the alpha 1 and alpha 2 equal to 0. If if you are substituted 0, again EY value is getting 0 because of sin 0 value is 0. So, EY it is getting 0. Similarly, EX what it will come? So, cos 0, 1, again cos 0, 1 because cos alpha, cos uh, alpha 1 and alpha 2 equal to 0 means here the value is 2. So, finally, you will get EX equal to rho L by 2 pi epsilon into H. That is the electric field intensity or electric field of the infinite length of the conductor or infinite length of the line. Okay. So, from that you can obtain easily from the electric flux density also. Suppose electric field intensity E we are obtained both the cases. From that you can find that relationship the D equal to from that you can find the electric flux density also that is the epsilon into E. From this relationship, you can found electric flux density of also the uniformly charged line. Okay. If you have any doubt, you may ask. Thank you.